17 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is February 12th, 2015. February 12th, two days before Valentine's Day. Make sure you don't forget somebody. Make sure you don't forget somebody. Let me repeat. Make sure you don't forget somebody. There have been so many fellas this past week coming out of um, the uh, 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 commissary uh, doors uh-huh. past the, the radio station. Right, right. <laughs> and they're all carrying uh, Victoria's Secrets bags, the pink ones. They're small bags. They're big bags. You know, they're all Victoria's Secrets. So, boy, they're ha- going to have a good time on Valentine's Day. You know, it's interesting. I have a, an article that I was going to use, perhaps, 86 thoughts that every girl has while shopping at oh, Victoria's Secret. Oh, my gosh. Interesting thing. Wow. I, I, okay. there, were, there weren't many thoughts the guys had. It was a short, really? very short list, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the girls have one? lots of different <laughs> thoughts. Lots of different thoughts, yeah. Yeah, the thought, the one thought was, uh, I can't wait to see this on her. <laughs> were there any thoughts like, well, okay, she'll try it on and let's see how how, how long it takes me to take it off? You know, you're thinking too much about men's thoughts. No. Oh, I see. No, I don't okay. think we think that way. I think oh, you I don't. can't wait to see this. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so we got, we got a good show this morning. We got a good prize. Boy, Dan Martone put together an unbelievable prize. I, I was looking to see where these seats are in the Daytona International Speedway. Mm-hmm. Section I, Road 39, Seat 20, and Seat 21. Mm-hmm. Each of these tickets is worth one hundred seventy dollars. Wow. We're giving away two to one person? Yes. Is that how this works? Yep. Three what's that, three hundred forty dollars? Am I doing yep. my math right? Yep. You're getting a three hundred forty dollars. This is these have gotta be great tickets. They have to be great tickets. Three hundred forty dollars, mm-hmm. two tickets, and one person will get them. We are going to ask a trivia question. Mm-hmm. Now, how does this work? They answer the trivia question, and then they get the name in the box? Right. And then a week from, uh, not, you know, a week from today. Yeah, the 19th. The 19th. Okay, a week from today. Yeah. So the this 19th. is a one-week promotion. One yeah. week. Mm-hmm. The, the race itself is, is Sunday the 22nd. Mm-hmm. So it's a week from Sunday is the race itself. So one week from today is when you will find out if you won or not. Mm-hmm. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to listen. Yeah. Because by listening, you're going to have a trivia question that you have to answer, and you got to be the one who answers. You got. I mean, mm-hmm. if you're the, if we tell the seventh caller, that's that's you. Yeah. You know, you got to answer the question correctly. I think Tom is doing it differently. Tom Schmidt's on the Voice of Ocala. Mm-hmm. I think he's just basically saying call in or something like that. Yeah, I think so. But we we're going to make a little little bit of a challenge. We want you to mm-hmm. go. Absolutely, we want you to go. We want you to get these great seats. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 57th running of the Daytona 500, um, one week from Sunday, one week from today, one of our lucky listeners will find out if he or she is the winner of two, two tickets worth $170 a piece, a $340 value. I know exactly. I'm repeating myself, but let it sink in. Mm-hmm. Let it sink in. And the way this is going to happen is, on our show anyway, At random points in time. (laughs) I know you're saying, oh, gosh, you're telling me i got to listen to your whole show? Yes, exactly. (laughs) Exactly what I'm telling you. Now, let me ask you this, Robin. Do you know this rule? Are they allowed to put their name in the box more than once? I don't know that answer. We don't know that answer. We weren't told that. Okay. So right now we'll assume it's only once per person. Yeah. Right now we'll assume that. Mm -hmm. Which means that if you get your name in the box, you're you're off the hook. You're you're done. Right. You just got to wait till next week and see if your name gets pulled, okay? Yeah. But if Joe or Dan tells us later on that, no, we can have the name in the box as many times as possible, then we'll say, go ahead, put it in again. Exactly. But, but again, you'll have to answer questions. All right, here we go. Let me tell you what we're doing this morning. That is a fun part of what we're doing this morning, and it's not at any given time. That's the only thing. Mm-hmm. It's throughout the morning. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. It's wonderful. This is great. One hundred and seventy dollars seats. Yeah, it's I know. So I've never, I never got. Everybody wow. says it's exciting. People who love it really love it. I know mm-hmm. that when I used to work the races, meaning the radio show of the races, um, and I would mess up, or the or or the signal would mess up. That happens sometimes too. Mm-hmm. It wasn't always my fault. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we we I would get so many calls. I mean, it was the. It, 
probably the most popular sporting event we ever aired. I know that's hard to believe because football is so popular, and football was popular. We used to air, oh my gosh, uh, the, the Buccaneers. Yeah. And as much as people are down on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it was well listened to. Yes, it was. But it didn't didn't quite come to the to the extent of the NASCAR. NASCAR is probably the biggest sporting event mm-hmm. I've ever been a part of a broadcast of. Mm-hmm. And my role basically was to p- play commercials back in those days and order pizza. That's right. And my, <laughs> I had a pretty easy job. Play commercials and order pizza. Mm-hmm. And the order pizza was optional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really uh, incredible. And that's a, it was a really great prize. And so I was so excited when uh, Dan said that yesterday. I just thought it was a great mm-hmm. thing. That's, it's amazing that he pulled that off. And uh, my cousins, they come down every year with their friends from Wisconsin. They, they they buy their tickets in advance just to go to the Daytona 500. So, I mean, it's very, very popular. People it's come huge. from all over. It's huge. And, and you know what? Let, let me say something to you. If you don't win and you really want to go, I was just on the website. Now, I'm having a hard time figuring where these seats are. But the tickets start, I think, at sixty-five dollars. Is that sound right? Yeah, I thought there were some that were like thirty-five. That's what I thought originally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe those are all sold out. Maybe uh, the thirty-five-dollar ones are sold out. I don't know. I went online to look. I, I don't. I don't see it. Oh, here, here we go. Pricing. Wait a minute. I just mm-hmm. saw it. Oh, okay. Uh, the the oh the price map the two thousand fifteen price map. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now I see where you'll be sitting. Oh, okay. You'll be sitting in the, what is it called? Section. The Old Field Tower. At the Old Field Tower. Hold on. Let me find out where that is. Wow. I'll look it up. I'll look it up later. Okay. You're in Section I. Section I, Row 39. I don't understand what Section I is on here. Everything, all the sections I see. Are Enter a. Gate 6. Old oh, Field Old Field tower. Box. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you've got. Wow, these are really great seats. Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. You're really great. It should be for 170 bucks a piece. Um, you're just before. I mean, you're not too far from the start and finish line. Is WOCA that, is a class act. <laughs> WOCA delivers. Oh, oh, you know what it enabled me to do? To download the, the map. Good. I'm going to print it up. Oh, good. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's loading up. So oh, so the price map tells me about where you'll, you'll be sitting. So these are $170 sheets. Uh-huh. So you are sitting in the red section. Oh, wow. That's a nice. I, row 39. So this doesn't even make sense here, <laughs> row 39. But red section makes sense. Okay, red section. You can, get, you can get tickets that are $680. Well, that's for four days. Oh, okay. Okay, so okay. never mind that. You that can get tickets sense. that are $89. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's the cheapest seat, 89 That's an expensive sporting event, isn't it? I, yeah. thought, I thought they had like $30 seats. Yeah. Well, maybe those have been sold out. Uh, anyway, I'm not even telling you what we're doing this morning. Let me let me tell you what we're doing. Uh, 7.35. I just, there's, there's so many things in the news this morning I wanted to uh, just talk about. I don't have anything debatable necessarily. Uh, we'll mm-hmm. talk about the Ukraine. We'll talk about ISIS. We'll talk about the candidates. And uh, we'll talk about, uh, I have a story about Ben Carson, and et cetera. So. Oh, Okay. I like him. Uh, three people won the uh, three people. Three people won the uh, super. What's it called again? Not Super Bowl. The Power the Bowl. Mm-hmm. Three people. Uh, tickets in North Carolina, Puerto Rico, and Texas have matched all six numbers to win the Power Bowl jackpot. Five hundred million dollars will be split between those three ticket wow. holders. Well, good for them. That's wonderful. The numbers I came in were eleven, mm-hmm. thirteen, twenty-five, thirty-nine, fifty-four, and Power Bowl number nineteen. Oh. We only had one number. <laughs> Do we get anything for one number? <laughs> I don't know. I've never played it. You would know better than me. All right. Uh, t- uh, news Bites at 835. That's when we read the news. Uh, we don't comment on it much, uh, usually. Um, but we do comment at 7.35, which is what we'll be doing. So it's kind of like the opposite. 9.05, uh, Hank Whitty will be here with Veterans News. Hank may not be here because his wife has been ill for a while. Mm-hmm. And so your prayers are appreciated. And Gary Pascal has been sitting in for Hank during these weeks that Hank couldn't be here. Yeah. So it might be Gary today. Uh, Jenny Hahn is coming out at 9.35. She's written a, a, a love story, a, young, a novel for young readers. It's called To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Yeah, it's a really good book. To the boys I've loved before. It's nice. I have visions of Willie Nelson <laughs> and, and Julio right. Iglesias. Remember the two of them oh, who yeah. teamed up? Yeah. And all the girls ain't loved to be for. Yeah, they're good. They just Arnie Wexler is a compulsive gambler. 
Yes, he is. No, no, no. A former compulsive gambler. For 44 years. Yeah. He said. Arnie Wexler. I think you're a compulsive gambler. You buy a lot of lottery tickets. Yeah, well. <laughs> you don't want to admit it. We, we might, he, you know. He has written a book called... You never know. Ar- oh, <laughs> that's, why he, that's what keeps <laughs> you got, in the game. I got to listen to him. I All bets are it. off. <laughs> Losers, liars, and recovery from gambling addiction. Oh, I got to hurry, hurry. Uh, Mona Simpson is a journalist. She's got a book called Casebook. It's a humorous mystery novel about an American family coming apart of the seams. Dr. Tracy Stevens at 1105, the common risk factors and lifetime changes that can help lower the risk of cardiovascular events. Mm-hmm. Why not the word disease? And then Chris Staples at 1120, what Florida residents need to know to sign up for the health insurance thing in Florida, which the deadline is this Sunday. All right, we'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Steve Rappaport. We have three winners. First number's down. 25 gets us started, and right after that, we have the number 11. Powerball tickets purchased in North Carolina, Puerto Rico, and Texas hit the lucky numbers for the $564 million jackpot. It's the fifth largest prize in U.S. lotto history. President Obama lobbying lawmakers to approve military force against ISIS. The proposal would limit military action against the Islamic State to three years and allow limited use of U.S. ground troops for things like rescues or space special operations. It would also put no geographic limitations on the military campaign. Republicans don't want to restrict the president's ability to fight ISIS. Democrats, meanwhile, are wary of the possible use of ground troops. Fox Radio's John Decker. World leaders announcing a peace deal for eastern Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin says a ceasefire will take effect on Sunday. Fox News. We report. You decide. News early prime breaking down business news and its impact on your bottom line your world with neil Cavuto. that's how i do business that's why i am business bold positions and brash opinions on the topics america is buzzing about the five how do you think this will set in with the american people this will be the pulse of the nation washington insight and political know-how from the best in the beltway special report with brett bay the epicenter of the political world is here the number one place for fair and balanced coverage fox news channel what's wrong with working hard to make our lives and our kids' lives better. Nothing. At Fox Business, we don't have a problem with success. We have a very big problem with those who get in the way of it. We don't come out of the box bashing those who make money. Just the politicians stealing it and the bureaucracies wasting it. We're not just sitting behind a desk. We're out in the field, on the floor, with the folks. Because when a story moves forward, so do we. Fox Business, the power to prosper. Check your local listings. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. If you woke up feeling bloated, load up on water-rich fruits and veggies. Reminiscing about your first encounter, talking about it, creates the same changes in brain chemistry in both of you, which means it'll feel like you're falling in love all over again. If you experience breakouts and you normally drink fat-free milk, consider switching to 1% milk or dairy alternatives that contain fewer than 10 grams of sugar per serving. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey checking account with Gateway. Details available at Gateway Bank, CFA. Member FDIC. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Real estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. 
career source, Citrus Levy Marion, brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Hi, I'm Fran Darkington. When I need news, I pass the rest and tune to the source. W-O-C-A. Your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. All right, 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. It's a little foggy out there, 39 degrees here at the studios at the uh, Paddock Mall, broadcasting live from the WOCA Commissary, where soon there'll be a sandwich called The Source, by the way. Yes, there will. <laughs> uh, tonight's temperature is expected to be in the mid-30s. How about that? Yay. Today is going up to around 70. Tomorrow, tomorrow's high, 54 Wow! Gosh! Tomorrow night's low thirty. Wow! So I guess I guess today we're gonna get normal and then get mm. cold tonight and stay stay cold tomorrow and then Saturday it'll warm up a little bit but still stay cool. That's the same as through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday gets about normal, mm-hmm. and then Wednesday gets back down to uh, thirty degrees at night. Gosh. So it's like Thursday morning of next week. So. Mm-hmm. All right, speaking of next week, you know, I, I mean, we kind of covered this pretty well, that one week from today, we will be picking one name from the WOCA random drawing box. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Uh, and that one person will get two tickets to the Daytona 500. They are um, $170 seats. Actually, that's the price with the tax. That's what confused me before. Yeah, I so, didn't realize so that. So I, I think I found the seats. They're in the, in the tower, what do you call it, Oldfield Tower section. Yep. Uh, it's section I of that section, mm-hmm. I guess, is what you say. Row 39, seat 20 and 21. Each ticket with tax is worth $170, so it's a $340 prize. Mm-hmm. And uh, you will get it if your name is picked one week from today. You can play at any time during the day. You might have something that asks you from the computer or you might have Tom Schmitz or Buddy Martin in the afternoon mm-hmm. asking you to call in, or Robin or myself asking you to call in, or mm-hmm. perhaps on Fun with Joe, Joe might decide to do it himself. Yeah. Uh, all right, so. And you're by turn four, too. And t- turn four is past where you're sitting. So, so you sit by turn four. For those, who know, for those who know. For those who know. I don't know. By the way, I did find out <laughs> tickets do start at $65 for the Daytona 500. Okay. This is NASCAR's biggest, richest, most prestigious race. Kids 12 and under are half-priced on the back stretch for the Daytona 500 while supplies last and a paid adult and free... I'm sorry, with a paid at all, and free throughout the Budweiser Speed Weeks inside of the Sprint Fan Zone. Oh, nice. So just, just thought I'd tell you that. That's the information they gave us. Um, the stars of NASCAR return to the World Center of Racing to kick off the 2015 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Two-time Daytona 500 champion Dale, Ar- Ale Hart, sorry, Dale Earnhardt Jr. will look to defend his victory at the 57th Daytona 500 with a new crew chief, Greg Ives. Okay, those are the things I needed to read. I, I know you, I told you, you know, we're going to do it all morning long, and we are, we are. Mm-hmm. But I just thought I'd start it off with this, okay? Okay. If you want your name in the box, you have to call me and answer this question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the number you'll have to call is 622-9622, okay? Uh, these are the questions provided to us by NASCAR, so I'm... Hoping they got them all right. Yeah. That one time that was one was wrong, I think. I know. We've had some. Yeah, we've had some that was wrong. All right. So let's see. Which which question should I pick? Um, uh, uh. <laughs> I like these. They're <laughs> very thought-provoking. All right. All right. All right here, I, I guess this is... I'm going to just read it the way it's written. Okay. I'm, I'm asking question number 12. <laughs> <laughs> Barking it off so that I know I asked it already. All right. 622 Nine six two two. I'm only going to take one person's answer. If you get it right, then you get your name in the box. Mm-hmm. If you get it wrong, uh, you have to call back because I because we got things we we need to do. But I will be doing it all morning long. Okay. Yep. So we get your name and number then. When because you call we, this it. is one of those quick ones. You got to get it done before next Thursday. Yes. Okay. All right. Here's the question. 
You've got the phone number, right? 622-9622. How many miles around is the tri-oval at Daytona International Speedway where the Daytona 500 will take place? How many miles around is the tri-oval? Rob, holy mackerel, look at this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this many callers. All right, Robin, pick a number between 1 and 30, it looks like. Wow, the oh, whole 17. screen is filled up. 17. 17, you're the lucky yeah. guy okay. or gal. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen it light up wow. like this. This is huge. <laughs> oh, this is great. All right, I had to count them first. Now I got it. I got number 17. You are number 17. All right, who is this? What's your first name? It's Mike. Mike, how many miles around is it's the a, tri-oval? It's a mile and a half. That is not what it says. Sorry. That is not what it says. Oh, man, I feel so bad. Yeah. I feel so bad. It does not say a mile and a half. Mm-mm. Should I take another call? Yes. <laughs> take another number, Robin, between yes. 1 and 30. 21. 21? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. Uh-huh. Uh, 21. Right here. Good morning. You're number 21. Who's this? What's your first name? This is Nancy. Nancy, what do you think? How many miles around is the tri-oval? Two and a half miles. Two and a half is correct. Yay! All right. I, I, you know what I need to do? I need to have you talk to Robin so she can get your last name and everything else, and I don't want to do that on the air. So I'll take an early break, and then we'll talk about the news. You, you're, you're the first name we've got in the box. I don't have no idea how many Tom got yesterday. <laughs> Congratulations. We only started this yesterday, so yeah. All right, and everybody awesome. else, I'll be doing this a, a bunch today, okay? I'm just going to have fun with this one, I think. All right, so let's take the little break, and you stay on. You talk to Robin. We'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Plenty of sunshine and pleasant today, high 69 to 73. And tonight, clear and turning colder with lows ranging from the mid-30s in a few inland spots to 43 along the coast. Sunny, breezy, and cool tomorrow. The highs ranging from 57 in the northwest part of the zone to 62 in the southeast. And on Saturday, plenty of sunshine with a high of 60 to 64. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Join us on Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberry Festival at the McPherson Government Complex. The goal of this festival is not only to provide a great time for families in Ocala, but to also raise funds to build a home for our family and our community and support Habitat for Humanity's mission to strengthen communities, build hope, and provide dignified housing solutions. Remember, Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberry Festival at the McPherson Government Complex, which starts at 7 a.m. with breakfast. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new Yep, and we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Wow, it's fun to have a good prize. I love having good <laughs> yeah. prizes to give away. <laughs> it's great. I don't know what I would do if we had a car. 
Oh wow! I, I mean, we we I've been a part. Of, let's see, the biggest thing I ever, think we gave away was a trip to Europe. I think that was the biggest thing. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, no, we gave away um, here some tickets to uh, some oh some horse thing down in South Florida. Oh yeah, that, that was a pretty big yeah, one. Yeah, that was a huge yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that was real. All huge. right, so uh, the, the so the answer was two and a half miles. Uh, what do they something. mean by tri oval? Because it's got like a it's, it's a three piece thing, I guess. The, the actual track. So Maybe I, have no I, idea. I don't know. I, I just no know idea. it's an oval track. All right, some things in the news. I wanted to talk about um, thousands of people showed up for the a candlelight vigil last night to honor the three students, three victims of a shooting at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. What a sad, sad story. All yeah. three victims were Muslim. The families of the vic- of the victims, uh, 23-year-old Dia ba- Barakat, 21-year-old Yusor Abu Salha, and, tw- and 19-year-old Razan Abu Salha, say the gunman had threatened them before and they believed the shootings were a hate crime. Mm. Yeah, I do too. I think so, sure. Poli- police say, I think all shootings are hate crimes, by the way. Police say they're not dismissing the possibility of a hate crime, although... They say there was an ongoing parking dispute involving the suspect who has been charged with murder. So he hates them because of their their religion. He hates them because of their parking spaces. It does. Yeah. Sh- I don't know. <laughs> killing somebody's killing somebody. The one thing I, I I wanted to say was that this is absolutely absurd. And when when people kill one another because of their religion or their lack of religion or, or whatever or their whatever they perceive as being immoral behavior, it's a- a- absolutely unbelievable. I, I just. I don't know what's up with the world. What I do know is that a lot of Muslims have been posting on Facebook how this is outrageous. Well, it's about time. Yeah. You know, no offense to the to the people who've been saying something, but for, for the way I've seen it, there hasn't been a whole lot of outcry from the Muslim community about no. the, the killing of the Jews, the killing of the Christians, the killing of anybody that doesn't agree with them. That's right. They haven't been. Uh, and and so, yes, you are, They in this case, it was here, but it's happening everywhere. Yeah. It's happening right. everywhere. And we, need, and we need to, I don't know what to do to stop it. I mean... It's not like, you know, the people are wearing certain uniforms and you know who the bad guys are. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the problem with this whole thing is that we, we want, we have a tendency as human beings to want to be able to identify our enemies. You know, mm-hmm. we want to be able to say, this is, the, this is the shirt that they wear. This is the hat that they wear. This is the emblem that they wear on their sleeve. Well, that's the way it used to be. It's not the way it is anymore. Mm-mm. These people can be anybody, and it's, yeah. it's it's just absolutely insane. And and for anybody to paint any other organ, any other let's say group of people as the bad guy, simply because it is th- there's a large. I know every one of the talk show hosts does this. You know, they say they don't they don't want to ignore that these are that most of the well all of the terrorists lately are Muslim. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean every Muslim is a terrorist. That's the thing. We, you know, we got to make yeah. sure that point is made clear. You know, exactly. And uh, but they need to stand up for their own beliefs. So they they need to stand up and say we're not going to take it anymore because they're beheading their children over there. Well, and and you know that I think that pilot who was burned to death was a Muslim yeah. too, by the way. So yeah. it's a, it's just a sad. I don't know what to do. I mean, I I you know what I really hope I really hope that. A, either we as human beings one day e- evolve, and I, I, I mean that in the, in the sense we, we all evolve, but, you know, we progress to the point where we get over all this stupid stuff. Yeah. You know, or, or the other thing would be that Jesus Christ actually comes back and actually takes over and actually fixes everybody's heart. Yeah. Because it's, it's our hearts that are ill, you know, our exactly. minds maybe too. I mean, that's what they that's what they promise. All these, uh, what do you call it? Ph- not philosophers, but prophets. All these prophets mm-hmm. say, or whatever the teachings. When you when you turn on the TV, whatever, and you see mm-hmm. these guys, you know, that's what they all say. Jesus is coming back, and he's and he's going to make the world better, and he's going to get rid of the bad guys, and only good guys will live here. Mm-hmm. And then you can leave your door unlocked, which is going to put a lot of locksmiths out of business. Exactly. You know, but I mean, and that was a silly comment, but but I mean, seriously, wouldn't that be wonderful if that ever happened? Yeah. On earth as it is in heaven, as the Lord's Prayer says. Yes. Yeah. On earth as it is in heaven. That's what we want. But why should we wait? Do it now. People well, should That's a really now. good point. And this is mm-hmm. what I say. I can't change the world. I can only mm-hmm. change my world. 
I can't change the whole world. I can only no. change my thoughts. I can only change the way I feel about people. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to change everybody else. I don't know. Sometimes I think that the only real, well, uh, the, the best thing that the arts can do, and, and by the arts I mean like movies and books and, and songs and, and writings. I, I know it sounds kind of Pollyannish, I guess, to believe that, that, that a song or a poem or a book or a movie or a painting mm -hmm. can actually change somebody's heart. But I, but I think we've seen sometimes they do. And sometimes they change people's heart for the worse. Yeah. I mean, sometimes some, some of the things that we call entertainment change us for the worse. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of them that have changed us for the better. I don't know. Just exactly. I don't know. I leave it in God's hands. That's how I feel. Uh, I mean, I just do the best I can do, you know. And and do not ever, ever, ever let anybody change our constitution. No. Hello. The Never. guys who made that constitution. Maybe they weren't practicing exactly everything they were preaching because they did own slaves, et cetera. Yeah. And we've tried to work out the kinks that needed to be worked out in this country. We've done pretty good. Mm -hmm. And maybe we've got some more to go. I don't know. But don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that that right to bear arms shouldn't be the average citizen. Exactly. I know we got some knuckleheads that get guns and do horrendous things, and, and I wish there was something to do about that. But if you take away the guns from the private citizen, guess who comes in here and takes us over? Anybody who wants to. Exactly. Anybody who wants to. Exactly. And while it's probably not something Jesus would do, well, we'll wait till he gets here. And in, in the meantime, you know, we have to have a way to defend ourselves. That's right. You remember when it, I remember hearing from one of our guests actually that what happened in uh, in China was when they banished weapons, mm -hmm. they decided to come up with the, what we now call the martial arts, so they could defend themselves with their hands. Yeah, what exactly. What good is that going to do against somebody who has a weapon, though? Yeah, an AK forty-seven or something like that. Yeah, but at least they're they're there protecting and their I, own. And I know it's a bumper sticker mentality, but you know when you take the guns away. The only ones who have guns are the outlaws. Exactly. When the outlaw, what's the bumper sticker? When the outlaw guns, only outlaws will have guns? Right, exactly. Well, yeah, of course. Sure, sure they're going to get them anyway. I went on a tangent there, but it's, but I think it's a good one. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to do with the world. Good morning. You're on the air. Uh, good morning, Larry Robin. I hate to tell you they are taking away the Constitution, i.e. Supreme Court ruling that... Uh, Money is a form of free speech. Nowhere is that in the Constitution. And uh, that means also somebody like the president's famous uh, banker, Jamie Morgan, or J uh, not J Jamie Dimon, has a lot more free speech than I do, or you and Robin, for that matter. And then you have uh, the Supreme Court dictating as to what a state's judge ruled in Alabama about uh, same-sex marriage. Uh, we are losing our Constitution. Uh, you have a president that uh, just comes along and mandates this, that, and the other thing, doesn't take uphold his oath of office, and nobody does nothing about it. That's another piece of the Constitution disappearing. So, uh... Well, you know, I can't argue. Matthew, Luke, Luke and John. And, uh, you know, what can I tell you? Yeah, no, I can't argue with what you're saying. Uh, you're absolutely right. I know. Have a good day. Thank you, Sonny. Uh... Yeah, but but so far, well, and you know what? I don't say so far. Some cities have taken away your right to have a gun. Yes. Some yeah, cities have. have, you know. They have. So... But we don't want that here. Keep it all. All right. So what else is in the news? Uh, well, I know this looks like good news on Ukraine. Anyway, uh, there was an agreement that was reached. Mm -hmm. Peace talks um, aimed at ending the crisis in the eastern Ukraine. All sides have agreed to cease fire that's due to start Sunday. Why, why do they wait? Exactly. We can why still can shoot wait? until Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why not right now? Okay. Everybody put your arms down right now. The agreement calls Good for point. a pullback of heavy weapons. The deal came after a marathon overnight session in the talks between Ukraine, Russia, France, and Germany. If the ceasefire holds, which is far from certain, it could bring an end to a 10-month conflict, as you know. 
More than 5,000 people have died in that conflict so far. Mm, wow. Mm, mm, mm. It's so sad. Um, and it's also affected the whole world, as, sure you, as, as you know. Sure it has. Everybody's affected. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. Um, yeah, isn't it kind of funny that um, Vladimir Putin has uh, said that they're going to be a ceasefire, but yet Russia stands here and says that they are not involved in the <laughs> in the issue in, in Ukraine and in, in the war in Ukraine? Isn't that crazy? But, I know. Yeah. They decided there's going to be a ceasefire. How can you have a ceasefire if you're not active in the in the, in the war itself? Right? Absolutely. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so, cr- crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we need to we need to have more sanctions. More sanctions. I don't think war is ever going to be an answer to a problem. But uh, I believe that political. I mean, or, or sanctions are are the best way to go with it. So. Anyway, my two cents worth. Thank you. And, and, and sanction, yes, and sanctions against a country makes sense. Mm-hmm. You, how do you sanction ISIS? What I what I think has to happen with ISIS, and I actually think you brought this up first, Robin, and it's a really good point. Stop the money. If 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 money is what they get from beheading people or what they want anyway, and 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 there's a way for the IRS to freeze my money. Yes, <laughs> if they, they do want it to right away. Yep. If they want to. Yep. They Why can't it. we freeze everybody else's money? It doesn't make sense that we, we don't mm-hmm. know how to do that. It also doesn't make sense to me that we don't know where they are. Yeah. To me, I don't understand. For I mean, sure. Uh, to me, somebody's just, somebody knows where they are. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it's all political. Uh, I told you I'd tell you several things in the news. So regarding ISIS, the White House asked Congress yesterday, as you know, for permission to wage war against ISIS. If it is approved, and it's not, it doesn't look like it will, but if it is, the resolution would formally authorize the already six-month-old U.S. military effort. Hmm. The uh, draft resolution limits the military campaign against ISIS to three years and the president's ability to order enduring offensive ground combat operations. That's the quote right there. Enduring offensive ground combat operations. The president says the United States does not need to get involved in another ground war in the Middle East. Reaction to the request is divided along party lines, as you know. Uh, Republicans think the authorization is too limited. Democrats feel it's too open-ended. Uh, okay, let me take a phone call, then I'll give you the next one. Good morning, you're on the air. Hey, good morning. Uh, the only people that are going to lose their rights or the for weapons are the tax-paying, honest people. That's I mean, right. what people in our society have lost their rights and still keep weapons? I mean, you go into jail and inmates have learned how to make weapons and guns out of pens and bars of soap. So the whole idea of taking the rights away for guns and bearing arms is so the government, when they decide to impose martial law, we're defenseless. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're, that's sharp. Right, thank you. That's exactly. what everybody needs to know that. That's yeah. right. Thank you for that. That, that. That's exactly, I mean, I have said this forever, that a talk show, a talk station listener is by far more aware of what's going on in this world than pretty much everybody else. Mm-hmm. And... Um, it's it's just my experience, and I, and I love music. I love listening to music stations, but I, I think I think you guys get it. All right, uh, this the one story in the news that has really nothing to do with the world at large is the Costa Concordia story. Judges in Italy took five hours. That's it to decide the fate of the captain of the Costa Concordia. If you forgot, um, mm-hmm. that was that ship that fell over. Yeah, after a nineteen month trial they found Francesco Chattino guilty of multiple counts of manslaughter causing a maritime disaster and abandoning ship he was sentenced to 16 years in prison and ordered to pay court costs mm-hmm. 32 people died after the cruise ship crashed into the rocks off of the Tuscan island of is it Giglio 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 I Giglio think Giglio in January of 2012 Yeah well good thank god that's over with now and uh, Justice I guess I, prevails. I had one story about. Um, um, oh gosh! You said Ben Carson. Ben Carson. I know. What did I do with that? Oh. Oh, I don't have my Ben Carson story. Oh, okay. What did I do with my Ben Carson story? <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. The Southern Poverty Law Center 
Southern Poverty Law Center has removed Dr. Ben Carson from its extremist files. Oh. Citing insane criticism in recent days. Oh, or gee. intense criticism, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> A statement on the group's website now replaces Carson's extremist file page where quotes he made opposing same-sex marriage were cited as the reason for including him with the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, gee. Dr. Carson is a black man, by the way. Yes, he is. Just thought I'd mention that. Yes, he is. Anyway, so they have removed him from their extremist files. They've changed their mind about him. Yeah. One of these days we'll get him on the air before he actually says he's going to run for president. Once he does that, we'll never get him on. Exactly. All right, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. I didn't tell you what we're doing with Galen. Uh, no. The things that guys do that annoy other guys. We'll be right back. From the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. After all-night talks, Russia and Ukraine have agreed to start a ceasefire on Sunday. Germany and France say they'll make sure it's carried out. However, a ceasefire was also struck last September, only to collapse almost immediately. And German Chancellor Angela Merkel says this deal is a step forward, but that big hurdles remain. Fox Radio's Simon Owen. Longtime CBS News correspondent Bob Simon has died. He was a passenger in a car that hit another vehicle stopped at a light in New York City. 60 Minutes executive producer Jeff Fager on WCBS-TV. He loved what he did, and that was from the moment he started at CBS News, a long and brilliant career, and a body of work that I think is really difficult to match. Simon was 73. They'll split $564 million, three winning tickets in Texas, North Carolina, and Puerto Rico for last night's Powerball, the third largest Powerball jackpot. Fox News, we report, you decide. news on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts and it's all free. Go to foxnews2go.mobi That's foxnews, the number two go.mobi. Some people People would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never tried are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Career Star Citrus Levy, Marion County, will be airing a special segment on Friday, February 13th at 9.30 a.m. about developing a new skills training program in collaboration with the Marion Regional Manufacturers Association. The program initially focuses on manufacturing training for computer pneumatic control, CNC operators, and programmers. However, the program can be customized to accommodate other occupations and industries. So listen into to WOCA and Career Source for a special segment on Friday, February 13th at 9.30 a.m. to answer your questions. Career Source Citrus Levy, Marion County. Are you tired of looking through glasses with scratched lenses? Or are your frames a little dated? Well, Ocala Eye is offering a sweetheart special that can solve that problem today. Now, through the end of February, Ocala Eye is celebrating Valentine's Day every day by knocking $100 off on any complete pair of frames and lenses purchased from any of Ocala Eye's five locations, including the villages. Pick from hundreds of designer frames like Kate Spade, Coach, Vera Wang, Maui Jim, and more. Then apply the Ocala Eye Sweetheart Special and knock $100 off whatever the cost. And if you live in the villages, don't miss our optical trunk show at our office on Laurel Manor Drive.